Birdman of Alcatraz. A strange name for a motion picture? Perhaps. And he is the most defiant man alive. Come on, boy, come on. Come to the king of Welsh you are. He is a good boy. Yes, yes, a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, hello. What wouldn't I give to be able to fly like a bird? To soar above these prison walls and feel the warmth of the sun on my face again. See the flowers and hear the children's laughter. <laughs> You know, it's been a year now since the mayor of Aberystwyth arrested me and threw me into this pit of shame. Arrested for sedition and turned into that stick figure of mockery, the man in chains. But of course, it wasn't really sedition, was it? My crime was love. I loved the people of Aberystwyth too much. It's the one crime they never forgive. I want to make an urgent appeal to you from this, my chamber of despair, about a grave peril that threatens our land, a danger that promises to plunge us into a whirlwind of terror and chaos if unchecked. What is this danger? It's a book about to be published called The Case of the Hail Mary Celeste. It contains a number of impudent remarks about our beloved royal family, a book written by a mocker, a sneerer, a twerp. Who wrote this book? I did, but I regret it now. The book reveals the reason the royal family had to change their name hurriedly in 1917. You did know about that, didn't you? They used to be called the House of Saxe, Coburg and Gotha, which is German. And then they changed it to the House of Windsor, the King announced it in the newspapers. I wonder why they did that. Do you think it could have something to do with the fact that we were fighting Germany in the war at the time? Ostensibly this book is a work of detective fiction about a man called Jack Wenlock who works as a railway detective on the Great Western Railway in 1947. He takes as his final case, his swan song case, the greatest mystery in the annals of railway law, about a party of nuns who disappear from a train in 1915. They were travelling from Swindon to Bristol Temple Meads and vanished into thin air. Puff, just like that, no trace ever found, despite a nationwide nun hunt. This book tells you what happened to them. But you don't want to know the truth. If you find out what they did, you'll probably gather in a mob with pitchforks outside the gates of Buckingham Palace. I have even been advised the revelations may send you mad. I know what you think, I know what you think. You're saying, yeah, but the people who read your books are already bonkers, aren't they? Yes, it's true, they are. Mad as March hares, a lot of them. But they can still eat solids. In view of all this, I've been forced to take the unusual step of banning my own book. I've written to my publisher and told them not to publish, but they wrote back and said, it is too late. The case of the Hail Mary Celeste will be published on 15th of March. The damn crazy fools. Friends, we must act now. You must tell everyone you know not to read this book before it is too late. That is, unless you want to see this beautiful land of ours torn apart by revolution.